Good morning, Berlin. Good morning, Netherlands. Good morning, Philippines. Uh, today marks the 10th year anniversary of Sparrow Day. That started in India on 2010. And today marks also the Domino Sparrow Day in the Netherlands. And I don't know if you have watched uh, on television in 2005 the uh, Domino Day that was the world record for the highest number of toppling dominoes. An awkward event took place four days before the Domino Day that is still implanted in the minds and hearts of so many Dutch people. In the Philippines, I think we have uh, a sparrow. We call that Mayang. I just uh, googled. We call that Mayang. Here in the Netherlands, we called uh, the bird sparrow. And it is a loved bird in the Netherlands, which is protected under the uh, European birds directives. On that day, four days, going back to that day, 2005, the Domino Sparrow Day, four days before the Domino Day, a sparrow flew into the building, thereby uh, destroying about 23,000 out of 4 million dominoes. 23,000 dominoes. So um, everyone panicked and they tried to catch the bird, but they failed. So uh, the uh, production, the Lendemore production, hired a hunter to shoot the bird. The hunter, of course, a professional hunter, uh, succeeded in, in killing the bird. The bird died. So many people were saddened by the death of this poor little bird. As a matter of fact, about 5,000 signed the uh, uh, condolence register. And the uh, animal protection group, they went to court. The hunter who, who killed the sparrow was fined 300 euro. So it shows how special this bird to us is. Many of you will ask why this bird is so special. There are so many reasons why this bird is so special. Not only this bird plays an important role in our ecosystem because this bird is a natural uh, killer of mosquitoes. It is an insect terminator. Instead of buying we spend a lot of money buying uh, mosquito killers when in fact this is one of the most effective and natural mosquito killers. This bird symbolizes love, hope, harmony, and friendship. This bird is sociable. Uh, it, this bird loves to nest with humans because it feels safe and uh, loved by humans. Unfortunately, the uh, uh, population of this bird is decreasing, especially in urban areas, maybe because of the modern buildings without eaves and the birds, they love to settle with humans. They love to nest with humans. Another symbol of the bird is uh, simplicity. And simplicity, I'm going to take, uh, go back later on, has inspired me to write a poem entitled A Sparrow uh, five, five years ago. And I'm going to read later on because, uh, you know, I'm inspired to read uh, to you the poem that I wrote in, two, in, I think, in 2017. This bird plays also a significant role in literature, especially in India. Have you ever heard of a saying, uh, why birds can fly and why can't I? Uh, birds fly because they have faith. Birds fly because they have dreams. And if they have dreams, they have hope. I'm going to borrow a quotation of a poet. I forget to uh, the name of a poet that says, uh, a heart without uh, a dream is like a bird without a feather. And that's it. 
So there are so many ways we can uh, protect, can conserve, and we can restore the habitat of this special bird in our ecosystem. If you have a garden, try to plant trees that attract insects, or just put a ball of, with water, or build, make a nest, at least two, because they love to nest in colonies. They are sociable birds. They eat so many things. They are scavengers of insects. And they are really, it's a symbol of love and happiness. So without further ado, I would like to read to you uh, one of the uh, symbols of, uh, of Sparrow, and that is simplicity, comparing the life before and now. And because it was, I wrote it five years ago, and I can't remember anymore, I would like to read it to you. And it's still in small letters, so I have to read to use my reading glass. This is Sparrow. I miss those years when everything was simple, nothing to be achieved. No coffee from Starbucks, no toys from Intertoys, no iPads for kids in cribs, no gowns from guests and dress up to impress. I miss those years when I savored quietly in solitude, in a cozy house, in a darkened halls where sun ray peeped through gaps upon roofs and bamboo walls. Behind the light, reality cold, poor people trudged through parks instead of shopping malls. No price tag to brag in using plastic bag, no pollution and traffic monotone, only a two-wheeled transport of my own. Living life with less, good for body, soul, and help manage emotional distress. I miss the years just lying in peaceful slumber, listening to nature's musical number, and awoke to sparrow song with a notebook and pen, then captured everything that moved along. Oh, what a wishful dream. I want to scribble poem without modeling ending and not losing its theme. Some things aren't really what they seem. The days and nights of yesteryears before the madness came. No riches did we brag about, our people all the same. Life was soft and tranquil then, a poet's paradise. Instead of today's insanity, we had only sugar and spice. So how simple a sparrow is. And I could just remember when I first came here in the Netherlands, I could only, you know, uh, uh, identify three kinds of birds. Uh, one of which we have, you know, the dove, owl, a parrot, a canary. And uh, one day I went to the garden and I heard this uh, beautiful, repeatedly chirping of a bird. And that was the sparrow song. And I said, oh, it's canary. And, you know, my daughter said, Ma, that is in canary. That's not a canary. That is a moose, a sparrow. So I was really uh, ashamed because a little girl can identify a bird than me. You know, here, uh, almost every kid can identify, if a kid has already been to school, can identify a bird. In the Philippines, uh, we seldom see birds, and most of the time, there's especially when we see uh, a blackbird, there's a uh, uh, we consider that a bad omen, and it, we we think that it's a symbol of you know of witchery or so witch. I can still remember when I was a kid, uh, there was a blackbird that uh, you know that was on our rooftop, and Nana told us to get out because she said there is a witch in our house, and I don't know if it was true. So it is a nice thing to, to know that uh, how special this bird is in the Netherlands. It is protected under the Dutch uh, environmental law. That prohibits its killing, deliberately killing the bird, deliberately uh, destroying the nest, uh, using it for 
fauna or flora activity without environmental permit, uh, collecting eggs just for use or selling the bird. These are uh, provided under the Dutch uh, environmental law. So I hope you enjoy listening because uh, you know uh, it's nice to you know to to see uh, these little creatures in our garden. When you wake up in the morning and you hear the chirping of a beautiful sparrow song, how simple life is, and that makes your day. So good morning, everyone. Magandang umaga po, hudomorke, and nice to have a nice uh, Wednesday. Bye. Thank you.